Hey guys, it's X. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you things that I have accumulated over the years uh, that I used to work out at home. And like many of you, I have an exponential amount of time on my hands now that we have a stay at home order. So it was really important for me to try and get back in shape. I'm no longer in school and I'm on break until May 18th. And as some of you know, I recently got engaged. So I was very excited to get back into shape and um, be able to fit into my wedding dress the way I want. So a kind of backstory about my fitness journey. I'm gonna insert some photos here. Um, in 2014, sadly, which was um, six years ago, I was in the best shape of my life. Like I was running every day, hiking, biking, like just doing everything to be in shape. And I was so close to having a six pack. So I'm gonna insert those photos here. So I was 115 pounds in those photos and um, I even at that weight, I felt like I wasn't where I wanted to be, but now <laughs> where I'm at now, I just can't believe that I ended up gaining so much weight in nursing school and just not realizing it. One thing that really scared me was the fact that I could not um, walk up the hill to school without getting short of breath and that was something that was really frightening to me. Um, so I'm going to insert photos here now that will show you uh, what I ended up graduating with. And I went into nursing school at 115 pounds, but I came out at 142 pounds. So here are the photos for that. So when I got out of nursing school, I was really uncomfortable with the weight, the amount of weight that I had gained. And I ended up losing about, I don't I went down from 142 to like 128 and uh, then just slowly gained it all back and now I'm 136 pounds and I just seem to plateau like I can't get under 133 no matter what I tried and so now that we have all this time on my hands I really want to try and get back into shape and um, I don't think I'm fat do I think I'm overweight yes am I ashamed of either photo no um but i just was happier at my lower weight i felt more confident and all i really want back is my jawline like from the photos that you have seen so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i have accumulated over the years to help you kind of not have any excuses with this extra time and help you stay healthy during this time and be able to still get a good workout at home so um Let's start off with weights. So I did, like I said, accumulate some of this stuff over the years. So when I was looking at prices, I was like, I know I didn't pay this much for this for some of this stuff. But um, first, I have ankle weights that I believe were probably around twelve to fifteen dollars. I looked on Amazon to see what they were now, and it's about that price range. And then I have eight pound weights that I believe was about five to seven dollars each, and I got these at Target. I believe the ankle weights I got at. Um, walmart and then i have 10 pound weights that i got at target and i believe those were about 10 to 12 dollars um each okay next thing i do have a medicine ball it is a 10 pound weight i'm not exactly sure where i got this from um so i don't know the price i don't even know where it came from it just showed up in my house one day and then i have this ball that i use to do abs um it's a really tiny one so one thing about um, the equipment that I buy, I live in a studio and I'm trying to stay here as long as I can until I buy a house because my rent is so cheap. So it's really important for me to have equipment that I that's small or folds. That way I can keep it in my house, store it, and it's just not all over the place because I just I don't want gym equipment all over my apartment. So this was about $15 and... The next thing on my list I'm gonna go to is bands. So this band I have, you can use it for multiple exercises. This actually came free in one of like the work with the one of the workout equipments that I bought, but I don't remember exactly which one it came in. And then I bought these bands at Target. I believe they were about $15. So you have a light one, which is very stretchy. A medium one which is not as stretchy and then you have the heavy one 
which is harder to work with. And then it comes with this booklet and it just has a bunch of different exercises and stuff that you can um, do with it. And then the next thing, oh, I guess we're on bands, so I'll just show you. Um, I do have a waist, so I don't know if they're, it's not a waist trainer. It doesn't have boning. It's not gonna squish your organs and make you thinner. Um, it's more like a sweat band to help you sweat more in that target area. So this, I believe, was eight bucks. And then I bought this one, which I kind of regret buying because this, this does have boning in it. And, um, I bought this kind of more like for shapewear, but it is uncomfortable to wear because of the boning. And I think I paid like 20 bucks on Amazon for this one and I don't even wear it. Um, so I just prefer this and it's like I said, like eight bucks on Walmart. And then, um, some safety thing. I really love to run outside. Unfortunately, right now, I'm not able to. I was running in the beginning, but then I felt guilty. I'm like, I'm a nurse. I take care of these patients who are sick. Like, I'd feel guilty contributing to the people who are outside not following the stay-at-home order. But when we are allowed to run outside again, I do wear this. Um, it was like $8 at Walmart. And the reason why I wear this, um, outside is because I'm a trauma nurse. <laughs> I used to specifically work trauma at my last job and it just amazed me how many times I took care of somebody who was autoverse peds, meaning autoverse pedestrian. And I could not believe we had a 10 bed and a 20 bed ICU. I was in the 10 bed ICU and I wanna say at least three out of the 10 every single day had a patient that was hit by a car. I thought getting hit by a car was something that was very rare, but it's actually not in LA. And every time I go running in the street, I swear to God, it doesn't matter how careful I am, somebody almost hits me every single time. No matter what I do, make eye contact with the, the driver, like somebody is not paying attention on their phone. Like, I don't believe I'm invincible. I don't jaywalk. I'm as careful as possible. I pay attention to me crossing the street or anything. And I definitely like to wear this because at least it's shiny. You're, they're more aware of you. And I'd rather just be safe than sorry. Um, and then the next thing that I have, I bought this. I believe it was like $15 or $17. And this is like a workout. You can, this also came with a book, um, but it's like for your inner thighs and it kind of looks like dinky but it actually does really work and you can also like use it for your arms i guess but i mainly use this for to work out my inner thighs and then next i have a couple videos that people have given me over this year you know what's funny like now that i'm thinking about it i should be in such better shape because of all this crap that i have in my home and it just doesn't get used um but I have this insanity video. I don't know. I've never actually used this one. I don't know where I got it. My mom gave me this hip hop abs. And then my stepmom, I think when I was like 14 or 15 years old, gave me um, this uh, set of uh, home workouts. And then I think for my birthday, I believe it was my friend Bethel who gave me this yoga mat. These are, they're kind of expensive. <laughs> like mine's dirty. And um, just because I, like use my shoes on it at home and it just it's like I've been wanting to clean it but I was like oh maybe I'll just buy a new one but they're kind of expensive like it's 30 bucks for a mat man I might as well just use a towel um, but then so now I'm actually gonna go on to big equipment and I guess this isn't too big but this is a stair stepper that I have I hate this thing like I hate using it um it does work it does help you burn calories but I don't know like I just get bored on it but it was I want to say when I bought it, it was like $34 but it looked like now it was like about 44 on um on line at Walmart but this is so compact and like I said I don't want gym equipment all over my house so I really like that it's small it's tiny portable I don't know where you would be taking it at but like I saw one on uh, Amazon that was like 300 bucks for your office and it was kind of like a more of a little bicycle but like of the same size and I'm like well just pay 30 bucks for this and you'll be okay you don't need a 400 or 300 like 
gym equipment for your office. Okay, sorry I'm so far away. Hopefully you can hear me, but the next thing I have is this bicycle uh, stationary bike that I bought um, from Walmart. No, Walmart. I bought it on Amazon. When I bought it, it was like $116. I looked online now. I think it's about $144, but I did buy it around Black Friday or like Christmas a few years ago, and what I like about it is that it does fold up, so let me show you. I mean, it's not a huge fold but it does fold up and it is compact so this is easy for me to just kind of throw in my closet um the resistance on this thing when I was reading the comments somebody was like it doesn't have resistance at all like I wouldn't um purchase this but for me I'm not somebody that bikes every day and I don't have like I don't feel like my legs are super strong to feel like this isn't um, enough resistance. So it does have eight different settings. It does have this, it's like pretty cheap. Like the, um, it does um, calculate your time, your speed, uh, your calories, your pulse. It does have this little, like it looks like the little BMI thing, like that little machine that you use to calculate your BMI. So it does have that here that's for your pulse rate. But um, yeah, I think it's cute, it's convenient. I honestly bought this because so that I wouldn't have an excuse not to work out at home and so that um, if it was raining outside, I can use this bike indoors. Okay, the next thing that I have for home that I absolutely love is my little treadmill. It is not that big, it is not loud. Um, I wanna say maybe it's about three feet and the best part about it is it does fold up so this fits right under my bed so you just unscrew this and this unfortunately only goes to like 6.5 miles an hour which it ain't like I'm a sprinter or a really long distance runner so I feel like it's enough for me to get a good 30 minute hour workout from or at least like some type of cardio in the morning um so this I slide right under my bed um it is about eight inches off 8.2 inches off the ground so i would recommend that if you do have a bed frame that's about nine inches off mine is 11 i'll show you right now how i hide it um i definitely recommend this it's really like cute it's compatible it's a uh, comp compatible it's compact so I really like it um, when it rains outside, which it rarely does in California. Like it is definitely something that you can do at home or like now when you can't really go outside and go running. I mean, my, <laughs> the saddest thing for me was to see the hiking trail that I've been going to since I was 14, like tag with yellow tape. Like my heart just broke. Like that was one of my favorite things to do is hike. And right now we can't. So I think this, um, treadmill is a pretty good alternative and this was $200 around Christmas time on Amazon I look now it's like 300 um, another disclaimer about this is that the weight limit for it is only 210 pounds so I wouldn't recommend buying it if you are over that weight at the moment because it's not gonna support your weight and it did come with um, lubricant for the uh, actual tread so yeah that's about it let me show you how I um, hide it so there you go if it's right under the bed can't really see it uh, if I put a bed skirt on the bed it probably will cover another it. piece of gym equipment that I totally forgot about that I have is this bar um, I think the bar was probably like 20 bucks and then the weights were probably like uh, I want to say ten dollars each so I think it's total of like 25 pounds so I use this to kind of bench press up sorry so like I was saying um, I use the bar to bend pre bench press like I'll just lay on the floor and make sure you have a spotter but I'll just uh, pump out a few reps I use it for squatting I use it for deadlifts um, so yeah that's what I use that for and then another thing that I use is I actually got this from an old um, boxing trainer that I had uh, Thor shout out to Thor he would do this workout where he would assign a workout for like every jack spade queen king or color so basically he would draw 15 um 
uh, cards and then you would have to just do the corresponding workout to those cards. Another thing I absolutely love to use is this little mini whiteboard. I just kind of jot down everything that all the workouts that I want to do for the hour or two and then kind of just cross them out as I go or if I do a hit workout like I'll just write what I'm doing and how many reps I'm doing and then there are a couple of um, apps that I like to use to help me work out um, one my Apple watch I love my Apple watch with like it just it's just so convenient for me it counts all my calories tells me my amount of minutes that I worked out and then how many times a day like that I'm standing um, and then I have a pedometer app there is a cycling app I think it's called cycle like um, I don't really know what other name there is for it but it's pretty cool um, it is a right now the icon is just a red square with a bicycle in it but it has all these different um, workouts that you can do so it'll time you and it'll tell you like what the next workout that you're gonna do is and it's pretty cool because on the bike I don't really know what I'm doing on the bike so it just tells you like what to do step by step and then um, I was using the lose it app to count my calories but counting calories is just so miserable it's so unrealistic like I did it for a few months just to kind of see what portion control like or how much food I was actually overeating that I didn't realize like counting calories just opened my eyes to see how much food I was eating that I didn't realize like how many calories I was actually consuming but this time I don't want to count calories it's just unrealistic I want to do something that is going to be lifelong that I'm gonna do for the rest of my life and just counting calories just doesn't sound like something I want to do for the rest of my life and um, I also use the activity app that's on the iPhone and then I felt like there was one more but I can't remember so I'm sorry guys but I hope you like this video I hope if you guys are able to still work or if you already have this equipment at home you can definitely purchase some of these things to help you stay in shape um I also use a chair like I just use my regular chair for um step ups um I saw my friend's fiance uh using like a case of water like to 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 as uh, to lift weights so i don't know find anything but stay healthy stay safe and please i'm begging you stay home so we can be over this bye guys